I must thank Mr. Akunle Adeojo, Managing Director of Toyota Nigeria Limited, and the board and management of the company for the very kind invitation to join you today for the commissioning of this uh, state-of-the-art Toyota Certified Service Center. There are several Toyota service centers across the country, but this facility uh, is probably the first of its kind in Nigeria and certainly in West Africa. And I must confess to being quite fascinated by the multiple resources and outcomes that this facility possesses and is designed to achieve. It is clearly not merely a service center for providing quality after sales service, although we are told that that is one of the uh, objectives for establishing it. But it's actually developed, as we've heard, as a teaching research and resource center to provide dealers with world-class, practical, hands-on training. It is what is called a dojo center. And I had to research that to find what exactly a dojo center is. We're told that is a big simulation and immersive learning facility. The word dojo in Japanese means a place of the way. And this in general parlance is a place actually for martial arts training. But in the manufacturing context, a dojo center serves as a workshop for immersive learning, skilling, reskilling, and right skilling of workers. So here, real life situation, research, and experiments will be undertaken. And the results, we're told, will be applied to the resolution of customer and dealer issues. But perhaps as important is the value of the facility for the gathering of first-hand market intelligence on customer experience and expectations. And this is in line, as the managing director has pointed out, with the global philosophy of Toyota, the essence of which is the importance of obtaining first-hand knowledge by going to the source of the knowledge itself to experience things firsthand. As we've also heard, the facility has been built to standards comparable to the most sophisticated around the world. With the latest best-in-class equipment and technology designed to deliver superior, world-class services to vehicle owners in Nigeria. So I think Toyota Nigeria Limited deserves, uh, deserves commendation for its focus on capacity development in the automotive industry. One of, the, one of the chief problems in our industrialization effort is the skills gap, especially middle cadre technical and engineering skills. So an intentional and aggressive public and private sector synergy in developing this type of capacity is crucial. Our work, that is the work of the federal government with the private sector at the Nigeria Industrial Policy and Competitiveness Advisory Council has underscored and honed this particular approach. Also recently, the president launched the Investing in Digital and Creative Enterprises Program, IDIVES, which is an over $600 million AFDB-supported program that will provide uh, assistance to young technology and creative sector entrepreneurs through the provision of finance, skills development, and infrastructure. This year also, the Nigeria Jubilee Fellows Program will begin. And this means that every year under the program, 20,000 graduates after their youth service will be given fully paid internships that will last for 12 months in reputable private and public sector organizations across the country, such as Toyota Nigeria Limited, but it will be fully paid for by the federal government. There will be, uh, the idea of course is that uh, this will be one program where participants can gain relevant career and life skills that will enable them transition seamlessly into the professional business or public sector along the way. The program will last for five years 
and in, as I've said, is funded by the federal government uh, and the UNDP, as well as the EU. I think it's important to restate that the federal government has committed itself to partnering with the private sector, recognizing that the private sector is better equipped and resourced to lead the development of the economy. And this position is at the heart of our new medium-term uh, medium national development plan, 2021 to 2025, which, as you know, was launched two months ago. The plan envisages an investment commitment in the order of 348 trillion naira, and the private sector is expected to invest 298 trillion naira, which is about 86% of the projected investment. So clearly, this means that government must create the most conducive environment for private enterprises in Nigeria. And I'm sure you've heard this over and over again. But, my, but I must say that it is now absolutely existential for our economy to provide the circumstances, the best circumstances, for our private sector to thrive. And the president has, by several directives, approvals, and executive orders, set in motion, and in many cases with the private sector, with the, with the collaboration of the private sector, the most aggressive drive yet for appropriate infrastructure, power, roads, rail, and broadband connectivity, yet in the history of our country. This includes ensuring that our ports, our ports work smoothly for trade purposes, building new port complex, uh, complexes, redredging of existing but disused ports, and ensuring that government regulators facilitate rather than hinder business operations. As you know, this sort of work cannot be done overnight, no question at all, because of, what, of where we're coming from. So we, we consider this an imperative, and we think that it is something that requires not just government effort, but also the support of the private sector in achieving. And for us, the imperative uh, of doing this is why we have now, using a lot of private uh, stakeholder participation, launched the seventh iteration of the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBE, our 60-day national action plan, which we call NAP 7.0. This commenced on the 7th of February and go on till the, it will go on until the 7th of April. The whole idea of NAP 7.0 is to deepen the reforms that we've tried to de deliver over the past five years with a focus on exports, process automation, improvement in regulatory practices, judicial reforms, and also compliance with Executive Order 001, as well as collaboration with the states, with the sub-nationals all across our country. In particular, we are collaborating at the moment with Lagos State and Kano State. Uh, and this is to ensure that services which states have to render in the process of facilitating business and commerce are rendered as smoothly as possible. Such services as land services, provision of land, and provision of local approvals for building, etc. We have highlighted key items in all of the focus areas to ensure that they do not unravel and to ensure that we drive sustainability. Yes, we have reported considerable improvements in the six years since our ease of doing business reforms began. But at the same time, there remains a lot of work to be done. And we believe that the diligent implementation of these reforms will encourage the sort of game-changing investments such as this state-of-the-art uh, service center that we'll be commissioning today. As I conclude, let me, let me say how very proud we are of the achievements of Toyota Nigeria in the past decades. Toyota, as we've heard repeatedly today, is by far Nigeria's favorite car. But it came to be so because of the foresight, commitment to high values, and the focused investments of Chief Michael Adeojo, OOM, the founder, the founder and visioner of this automotive enterprise starting over 50 years ago with the establishment of Elizade Motors. And I'm told Elizade Motors is the majority investor in Toyota Nigeria Limited. Chief Adiojo has demonstrated, and I've said this once before, that it is possible to be honest and principled 
and still be an outstanding local and international business success. All that, all that alongside his outstanding commitment to philanthropy and the provision of high quality higher education over the years. Congratulations, sir. We pray that you will live much longer, not just to see the continued success of your children and your businesses, but also to see the Nigeria of your dreams. I will, in a few minutes, have the privilege of formally commissioning this Toyota Certified Service Center. I thank you all for your kind attention. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.